of sport with our final bulletin after eight o'clock. We have got time for this. Focusing in on rising tennis star Lloyd Harris, who started the week ranked a career high 72 in the world. He did, however, lose his opening round match of the Australian Open to Argentina's Diego Schwartzman just a couple of hours ago. Harris had to wait till today to get his campaign underway at Melbourne Park after persistent rain meant that his match was moved up a day. He lost 6-4, 6-2 and 6-2. He joins us now from Australia. A very good morning and welcome to Morning Live. Hi, Ben. How are you doing? Yeah, great. Thank you. Commiserations on this morning. What happened? Yeah, it was a tough one out there today. I feel like, uh, you know, it was a little bit deep uh, after a couple of long weeks over here in Australia. But uh, overall, Diego was just the better player on the day. And, you know, I just need to take all the positives from the last couple of weeks and uh, just try to improve on that. What are the conditions like in Australia currently? You mentioned that you have been there for a while. Lots being made by the qualifiers and during the qualifying uh, competition about the bushfires and the smoke that uh, was in Melbourne. What are the conditions like? Yeah, I mean, the air quality seems to be fine. It's settled and uh, the readings are looking pretty good. Um, so no health concerns anymore um, like, it, like it was in the qualifying. Um, but yeah, it's slow because the, the conditions played very slow today. I feel like the temperatures dropped tremendously. Normally when we come over to Australia, um, it's fairly warm at this time of the year. And I think I played in 17 or 18 degrees today. Um, so it's, it's pretty different. I would have liked it to be a bit faster, but that's just the way it is. Uh, tell us a little bit about the tour that uh, you've currently been on. It's uh, seen you reach a career high of 72 in the world after reaching the final of the Adelaide International. And it all started with uh, the ATP Cup. Yeah, so ATP Cup was tremendous. Uh, it was a fantastic event. It was kind of new for all of us because it was the first time it happened. But, I mean, me, Kevin, Raven, Ruan, all of us, we really enjoyed it. We did really well. We came so close to qualifying for that last eight spot um i thought we all played fantastically and then last week yeah it was just amazing it was a special week for me reaching my first atp final um i would have loved to go on to win the title but still it was a it was a tremendous week and i'm so happy with that result uh, do you believe that this is just the start of what will be a great year do you feel that you've got much more in the tank for 2020 Absolutely. I mean, you can just grow in conference from here. I mean, we're still in January. Uh, so there's a long year ahead. And, you know, with this type of style, it just puts some confidence, some belief in your head. I got a couple of great wins already um, at the start of the year. So I'm looking forward and I'm really, really excited uh, to what 2020 has to hold for me. Oh, many South African tennis oh, fans are looking forward to seeing what you will be able to do this year. Congratulations on a great start to it. And, uh, we, and good luck for the rest of the year. Yeah, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. All right, that's uh, Lloyd Harris, currently ranked at 72 in the world, chatting to us about what's been a great start to 2020. Unfortunately, not making it to the second round of the Australian Open this year. I now say goodbye.